Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to you boat and here we are on this lone patrol. So what we're going to try and do now is I just actually just picked up a propeller noise right behind us. I'm not sure exactly even which way or which direction this guy is facing. Um, we're going to try and get a beat on him. He's a bit far. We're going to turn the ship around and try and see if we can get a little bit closer to him. He looks like he's heading. Hang on a second. We're going to do this. We're going to make a mark here. Kind of like this on the world map. Where can, How do we make a mark? There we go. I just want to make a mark. Oh, here it is here. Let's just make a mark. There we go. Point one. This is which way this guy's heading. Okay. Pause the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to put another mark like right here. And we're going to do a ruler. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line like that. Okay, so look, he's heading up that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this direction here. Perfect. So I'm, I'm listening to him on my on my hydrophones. Um, I'm going to try and get... Oh, he's moving kind of fast, too. He's moving kind of fast. Uh, let's just try and intercept him like this way, then. i got to watch my, my battery level. There he goes. Yeah, he's going really he's, he's changing course. He's going up and he's coming down. I hope it's not like another sub. Because it looks like he's heading maybe back to La Rochelle. I hope it's not like another uh, U-boat. But we'll see what happens. Uh, but let's go kind of this way. Oh, did I just lose him? I went sleeping. Get back. Are you absolutely crazy? Get back on there. Uh, yeah, go. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Like the guy went to bed in the middle of tracking a ship. Like, how tired are you, dude? Right, let's go this way. Let's go this way now. He's heading the guy. So he was heading up this way. He clearly changed course. So I'm thinking maybe it's a U-Po. Which would be kind of disappointing if it was. Yeah, he's going to get ahead of me. It's going fast. Uh, we have to go this way. Watching my battery. Watching my battery. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Let's go, hang on a second. Let's go back up to, I'm a little bit deep. That's the problem. Let's go back up to uh, periscope depth. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this guy. I might have to even go to the surface. Funnel, there it is there. Funnel, okay, group there. So now we got him at least on the world map here. I couldn't catch him under the water. I was trying to maybe speed up after him, but we're gonna have to go on the surface for a bit. Pump our air up for a second. And funnel smoke. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I can't see, it's way too dark. Let's try to make sure our red light is on. And what that's gonna do is that's actually going to uh, make it a little bit easier to see in the dark. There it is, the app just got a little bit brighter. Funnel smoke, smoke spot. Okay, let's just get this guy actually. Um, Captain, go onto the uh, radio, send the message, and where's that funnel smoke? That way. So again, we're gonna try and intercept this guy. Uh, funnel smoke. What's the suggest is intercept course that way. Okay, so we'll head this way, just like that. Okay, send the message. We're gonna try and get this guy. Yeah, we're gonna intercept him. Just, it's just probably wish it wasn't nighttime. I mean, at least at nighttime, he won't be able to see me. I gotta, gotta get a bit closer. I'm just I'm too far away. He's going way too fast for me to catch him underwater. Tiny group one. Let's see what's going on. Yep, yeah, there we go. We got something. Detection, what is that? Unknown. Uh, it looks like a freighter. It looks like a freighter, and he's completely, he's right off to our side now. He's heading, it looks like this direction. I'll kind of draw a ruler here out the front of his ship. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a point. If I can, I just get a bit closer. And pause. Okay, let's take a ruler. There we go. Game's kind of buggy still. There we go. This direction, like so. Okay. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come uh, come about this way, and line up a shot. And try and get him like intercepted right here. Okay, let's just speed up a little bit. 
Okay, so now we're gonna turn into him when we're ready to fire, but let's go get this guy, our captain. Let's make sure he's on our observation periscope and we're gonna go down to periscope depth. Uh, we'll have this guy go back onto the listening room. This guy's gonna jump on the observation periscope. Okay, there we go. Now let's get, as soon as he's over there, we're gonna lock onto this ship right here. That's a bit rough seas. Uh, 10 days at sea, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit rough. 16 kilometer winds, is he on there yet? There he goes, now he's on there, okay. So let's try and raise our scope up. It's real dark, guys. I can't see anything. I can't see too much. Okay, so we have to find out where exactly he is. This is the front of the ship. Hang on, he should be directly off to our left, uh, almost halfway across. Okay, let's go back. Okay, it's gonna go up. I might zoom in one and a half. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. I was like panicking for a second. All right, so let's hit the E key to lock him in. All right, now he's locked in and let's try and ID this ship. And I have a feeling I already know what this is. Let's go first steps first, ID the ship here. Um, I believe, um, am I at max zoom? I am max zoom. I believe this thing is going to be, because there's an extra cabin there, I believe this is gonna be Empire Explorer class. I'm fairly certain this is what this is. Empire, we're gonna hit recognize, okay? Uh, next, we're gonna do the velocity of the ship, and this ship runs at about 13-ish uh, kilometers an hour. Uh, I was, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the, this. We're gonna hit on pause and start. And we're gonna use this, this the timer here to calculate the ship's speed. So the chrometer will go, and when, the, when, we, when it gets to the end, this device will tell us exactly how fast the ship is going. Okay, so it's about to pass through. Any sec, okay, we're about halfway through. And you can see, it might be hard on your screens, guys, but you can see the flags there. It's a British ship. It's got like the, the flag poles at the back there. And it's about to go in three, two, one. Stop. Okay, there it is there. It is going at exactly, there's 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 and a half. Okay, so we're gonna do, it. We're gonna do uh, it's set. 13, it does it for us automatically. All you do is hit set, guys. Now there is, again, you can go on the map and use the ruler tool to calculate this, but this is the real tools. I like using them a lot better. Um, next, we gotta figure out the distance, and that's going to be the static meter tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the water line, which is roughly here, okay? We use Q and E to raise the water line to the top of the mass. Now this is, it's really dark and it's really, really hard for me to see. I can't really see this thing. I can't see where the masts are. You can even do it reverse. You can do it underwater. So that might be a little bit, actually, you know what? It's gonna be a little bit easier to do it underwater. And we're gonna check our work though. I'm not gonna, so there's the, there's the flagpole. The flag is right there, but I believe there's a center mast, which is a little bit higher, just a touch higher. I'm trying to see where the flag is now. There's the flag there. You can kind of see the ghost image. It'd be something like this. 3.9 kilometers, uh, and they're gonna find out the angle of attack. So we're gonna go, do is go back to the world map, okay? And we're gonna double check this number uh, by using our compass. So we're gonna go to our compass. Where's our submarine? There it is there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the middle of our submarine, the very dark submarine here. If this thing actually wants to click, come on you. Very finicky. Uh, I'm gonna readjust that point to right here. There we go, now he got it, okay. Yeah, it's a bit finicky, this thing, guys. No, I'm not gonna lie, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go right to there. Now, can I not zoom in? Oh, it's out of my sight. It's out of my max sight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. Okay, so first of all, distance 3.9 kilometers is right. But what I gotta find is the angle, and it's gonna be a little bit hard doing it like this without getting close to the ship. So I might want to get a bit closer, but for now, it's looking like the angle is roughly, like if it's heading in a straight line like this, okay, it's going to be roughly like that, 76 degrees, give or take. That's the number right there. That's the magic number. There's the front of the ship there, so 76 degrees. Um, we might want to get a bit closer, but then we're going to, we'd have to readjust our numbers as we do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Um, Maybe get a little bit closer, just a touch. I'm not gonna get that much closer. 
Uh, make sure our speed is set. I want I want to speed up a little bit. And there we go. That's propeller noises. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's something else. I, I don't want to deal with any battleships right now or any uh, destroyers. There we go. Yes, looks like our numbers were right and the angle was right. Max sights. Now we're going to max sight. We're going to pause it down. Can we see this ship yet? Yes, now we can. Okay. So we're just going to readjust our, our calculations here. So we're going to go, um, again, right from the center point of our ship, kind of like right there. We're going to go to here and then from here you can kind of see again we're outside of our max distance but like you just want to go right out the front of the ship roughly and i don't think it has to be 100 percent perfect but you want to go as close as possible yeah it looks like it's going to be slightly different than what we were before slightly changed we're going to go with this one 84. All right, so we're going to go back. To, it's now 84, and we're at 3 kilometers. Okay, so we're going to go back to this mode here, okay? So we're going to change this to the, the, the ship is heading this way, okay? So we're going to make sure it's set to 84. Bow right, 84.4, 84.6. It's so finicky, this thing. I wish there was a way, unless I'm doing it wrong, to like, yeah, I can't find a key that's going to help me do this a little bit easier. I wish I could just type the number in, but it won't let me. 83.9. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to do. Uh, now, the distance, I think it was 3,000. We got a lot closer, so we're going to hit it in 3,000 meters or three kilometers. Um, let's just go back out to the world map to double check that. Three kilometers is right. And this is the cheese method. Like if you actually want to do it with the tool, you'd go back to the um, static meter tool like this, and you would do it, but I'm sure that three kilometers is probably fine. Fine. And, and that's it. We're ready to fire. Let's load to one and two. two. Um, all right. So let's uh, unpause the game, and we are going to um, flood the tubes. Now there is dispersion. So the the smaller your dispersion, if you think your accuracy is the dead on, what you would do is you'd make a smaller dispersion. If you think that eh, I don't know, I'm kind of just blind firing it. I'm not exactly sure. If the sea is like really rough and you can't get good measurements you would you know, raise the dispersion to give you a, a, a wider spread, so more likely you're going to hit something. Um, depth and speed, we're not going to touch. I'm just going to let it go as is. Flooded, and we're going to hit fire. All right, and it's going to fire both tubes at the dispersion that was preset. And that's going to be it. Let's go onto the world map, and I don't, I don't think we would see it here in the dark. We're actually going to come to a stop and let our uh, torpedoes go. Uh, yeah, you can't see anything in the dark, really. Um, sometimes you can see, like, uh, oh, there they are there. You can kind of see if you zoom out enough, the green two torpedoes. There they go. So we're going to speed up just slightly. Propeller noise. And half the distance. It looks like we're, we're doing good on course. All right, we're going to slow it down just a tad. And we're going to look 40 seconds. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to go back onto the... Uh, Let's go back onto the periscope, and this is what the captain would have been looking at if he was on the periscope. And we're going to hit on pause, and we're going to see if we got what we came here for. Ten seconds. Ten Sekunden bis Einschlag. There we go. Treffer. There we go. It's a hit. Beauty. And second one. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Serious damage. This thing is donezo. Um, and yeah, you can see the poor sailors are going to be running around trying to put the fire out, but it's not going to help. Unfortunately, this thing is done. It's hit with two big fatty torpedoes. And we can actually, can we zoom in on the world map? And you can kind of see here on the world map um, what's going to happen. And the ship will be going down. There's no way they're going to recover from that. Yeah, you can see it's listing real hard to, uh, I believe that's port on the right side. And yeah, this thing is going to sink. But that's how you do it, guys. That's just just a couple easy tools. And once you get used, oh, did they put the fires out? What just happened? No way. No way it gets hit with two torpedoes and it keeps going. This thing is done. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. No, yeah, she's going down. She's going down. I'm like, am I max? Let's go up to six meters. I want to get a good. Oh, the fire's back now. The fire might not seem to have gone out. I just want to wait for the ship to sink so you guys can have a see what it looks like. But yeah, here it is here at nighttime. Ship is sinking. What I actually might even do is um, let's go uh, 
you know what, let's go what's it called. And we're gonna head that direction. Forward one. Oh, but there, uh, where is that ship? Where'd it go? There he is there on fire. You can see where it looks like from a distance. You can see it ghosting out there. Uh, can I still see it in my periscope? Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing is done. There it goes. That's, okay, it's logged on. So where's it going? Go back. There it goes. Uh, it's, it was locked on, so it was like it, the, the uh, periscope is following the ship as it, as it sinks. This is what it looks like when it goes down, guys. Absolutely glorious. I mean, not glorious for them, but glorious for us. Diesel engines. There you go. But that's how, yeah, it's just three simple calculations, guys. It's, it, it seems really daunting for me at first um, when I first did it. But once you get used to it, it makes it uh, its so much easier. It's so much more fun to do it manually. Believe me, having it done automatic is, like, boring. Oh, you can hear the, the metal cracking. Yeah, she's done. Uh -huh. She's sinking. She's sinking. Yeah, yeah, there she goes. Wow. You know, it's actually um, going down a lot slower than the one in my previous. So it's, yeah, let's just unlock it. There we go. So we can actually not have to follow it down underwater. But there she goes, guys. And there goes the good ship down to the bottom into Davy Jones' locker. All right, well, that's the end of uh, this one sunk. Let's set off a, a radio message. Um, and we'll plot a course back to La Rochelle. And that's the end of this mission. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today, um, this little quick video on this lone kill. Um, I think I'll be doing a couple more patrols and um, posting those videos. Hopefully I can find some cool ships. Now, you know, freighters are a little bit easier. We can try and do some, maybe some destroyers and other cool things that we can grab. Um, but definitely look out for those videos in the future. All right, thanks for watching.